Hey y'all, hey, this is Dr. Samiri Colbert, and I'm walking. I'm so proud of myself. I went to the gym today, now I'm walking. But I want to give you another wisdom point of the day. The preface is this. Don't make your disrespect public and your apology private. I'm going to give you two examples. In the life of King Saul, King Saul and King David were both kings. Both of them did wrong. Both of them did their dirt. King David technically did more stuff than King Saul. However, when King Saul was confronted about his disobedient behavior, he starts by doing things that prideful people do. He denies it, then he makes an excuse for it. Then he says, okay, 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 but but stand next to me, uh, King, I mean Prophet Samuel, so that the people don't know I've lost favor with God. The the prophet agrees. However, David was confronted by a completely different uh, prophet about his behavior. David falls to the ground and stays there for days in front of everybody, his entire kingdom, and his entire staff. He knew how to repent. Now, the, the, the judgment of him losing his child was still going to be present. But David was still considered in the lineage of Jesus Christ and was considered a man after God's own heart. What was the difference? Both of them did their dirt, like I said. One person was lifted up in pride to the point where they refused to change. The other person was humble and he made himself of no reputation for the sake of his relationship with God and God alone. Don't make your disrespect public and your apology private. Love you much. Bye.